A reward has now grown to $7,500 for any information that leads to the arrest of whomever may have been responsible for the death of Jalen Griffin. The body of the Buffalo boy who was missing for three and a half years was recovered late last week. Channel 2's Dave McKinley has the latest on the investigation tonight. According to police, Jalen was last seen alive on August 4th of 2020. He had just left his home here on Warren Street near the Central Terminal and was on his way to a store. The boy, who was 12 at the time, never returned. And on Friday, about four and a half miles away from where he lived, Jalen's body was discovered in the attic of this home at 107 Sheffield Avenue in South Buffalo, according to sources by a contractor doing work inside the house who went to investigate a strong odor. This morning, crime scene investigators returned to the house with equipment to gather evidence and document clues. Police say they used dental records to identify Jalen's body, but say due to its decomposed state, it may be weeks before they can determine how long it had been here or a cause of death. We spoke to several neighbors, none of whom would speak on camera, who described the occupancy of the home in recent years as transitional ever since a fire damaged it eight years ago, and they tell us tenants since then have included recent parolees, sex offenders, and people with mental disabilities. None of them said, however, that they'd ever seen someone matching Jalen's description at the house, even though they describe it as a place where people known and unknown to them could be seen entering and exiting at all hours. In six days, on April 22nd, it would have been Jalen's 16th birthday, and those who've missed him all these years had planned to have a birthday celebration for him here at Paderewski Circle near the old Central Terminal. They'll still have an event here that day, only it will be a memorial service. On your side in Buffalo, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.